All right, let's go back to the main menu. Let's do a new run. Awoken really didn't help too much. Like, the problem with Umbra is they kind of stand alone, where you just kind of don't need anything else to go with them. There's a weird feeling. So what would I pair with them? Because Awoken is kind of the de facto buffing thing. Umbra works well with melting. Kind of. I, the problem is the Umbra champion is just so goofy strong-ish. He's such a solo act, I guess would be the word that I would use. That everything else just doesn't seem important. You can you can just solo Umbra stronger than I think most other factions. Like, you can solo Hellhorn no problem. Well, one way or another, let's do let's do Umbra Hellhorns. And see if that changes anything. I'm just I'm trying to trying to think are there any cards apart from multi strike, but even then, I don't really know. Let's see, would Umbra be less OP if the Umbra champion was limited to two morsels eaten per turn? I don't think so. Ooh. Okay. It's like it wants me to do the same run as last time. First time each... Okay. That's some morsels. Okay. Nah, let's just give him the gorge bonus. My problem is, I feel like no matter what, I'm just gonna push myself into the exact same build as last time. So how do I switch it up? Because they, they effectively just gave me what I... Uh, gave me it. We don't have Trample this time. That's the one let down. Let's kill that. Give me some morsels. Get rid of the fledgling imp. Okay. Torch him. Get both of these guys. Fails with production, that guy. Gets me some more. Another one of that. Shade Splitter. Just give him a damage shield, I guess. I think I'm going to try and avoid going for a zero energy build. I can do better than that. These guys are getting past. Uh, not really. They're not getting past to the same degree that I want. Uh, let's see. Pearls are protecting that guy. Go for a little bit more. Give you the fledgling game. Imps didn't used to have... A cost, did they? Or did they? I forget. One way or another, I like these free morsels. There's, there's got to be some better potential with that. Plunk that down. Torch me up. Get me some more. We're going to win this one. Do I have life steal? I've got one life steal. I guess I'm just going to feast, uh, feed that guy a little bit. Bam. Okay, making a morsel, add a morsel minor to your hand. This one's real good. All these are pretty good. So morsel minor means madcap stats. Packed morsels... It's the Seraph of the Diligent again. So we've got the we've got the Great Devourer. I'm gonna go for the Space Prism.
I'm gonna skip these. So we got a plan on the fact that I'm going to be losing... Losing my cards. That isn't so bad, but it means we want to stock up on a bunch of consume. Uh, so let's take a look. Go magic. I don't have any units to edit anyway. Right. Give a spell holdover. Do sacrifice. We're going to reduce the cost of sacrifice. Holdover could be real good on a completely different run. I'm just going to make those cheap. We're going to be using them constantly. Let's go look at the Hellhorn banner. I mean, like, Steelworker is actually kind of decent. But I just... It doesn't matter. It's just, it's, it's, it's morsel time. Use the Hellhorn to overstack a floor with morsels, maybe? Maybe? The horn break looked good. Did it get buffed? I didn't see it getting buffed. I guess I'm going to put him back up top. Pop these down. Boost him for a bit. Don't lose much. Burn him. I don't need, I don't need those. Okay, we get... Kind of fine. Kind of ouch. Give me a Shade Splitter. Gets me a Rubble Morsel. I'll live with that. Okay, so he'll heal. Put him down. Goes with Production, which I guess doesn't really get me too much. It's a nice energy generator. Ah, he made it out. Damn it. We needed that money. Alright, whatever. Morsel Miner. Morsel Jeweler. Silly enough. Let's go for the Rage. Have him take the hit. Pop the other Train Steward here. And kill that guy. This will just kind of... Plunk those. He'll just be there. We need more space. That's the stuff. Feed me. Shade splitter down. Oh. Got that. Okay. Well, I guess we just get two rubble morsels and... Oh. I guess I'll just put that there. Do we kill him? Yeah, I'll just kill him preemptively. Have fun with that in camps. It does you no good. But yeah, I don't have... I don't have Trample, which is actually kind of a tough spot to be in. Ooh. See, now we're getting the Morsel Miners. I must have unlocked him or something. Wow, that's... Because we, we were not getting him earlier. Maybe, maybe it was just RNG. Who the heck knows? I don't. Alright. Uh, well, I guess at this point, I'm just gonna give him the rage. We don't... Oh! He killed my Morsel Miner! You freaking jerk! It's fine. Okay. Brrr. Why does it want me to just do the exact same freaking build as last time? for the bonus stats, though. It is super good. Like, it's just giving me all the same cards, and I'm like, I don't want it. And it's like, but have it. I'm like, no. 
So, I think I'm going to go for Grovel. I'm, I'm going to skip these. I don't think the rest would actually be that helpful. But yeah, in my in my mind... Uh, let's see. Go for the spells. Go for the spells. In my mind, going for two and not getting the Morsel Miner is probably better than the alternative. So let's make Grovel cheaper. Get a spell holdover. Any of these... Are any of these good? I want to get rid of Consume. I'm going to give Perils of Production hold over. We don't care about that. So let's make Grovel free. And I'm just going to wait on these. But yeah, I, I think my problem with Umbra currently is that I am very focused on one build and one build only because that's kind of the only build available to me. Ooh, these are good. Locket is amazing on the Stygian Guard. This is super amazing for me. Let's see. I think Trample is uh, needed so the enemies don't go up. Trample or Multi-Strike, yes. And without either of those, we're in trouble. Um, yeah, you haven't also haven't opened enough Umbra cards to diversify the runs yet. The other thing I'm not doing is I actually have not really picked up any of the uh, support units. So, like, I'm just maining the champion and doing nothing else. I, I, I guess I just feel guilty because I'm, I'm, I'm a one-trick pony, and I'm just trying to figure out the best means of not. Thank you kindly, Shell. I'm going to smell this with regret for the next couple minutes. She has finally delivered to me pizza, and it smells so good. Hello, that's massive. All right, train steward, except for not, get out of here. Give me that sweet morsely business. Oh, that goodness. All right, get rid of that. Gets me some more. Hell yeah. Just jam them up in there. We got to figure out how to get... Uh, we got to get some more. Do we freaking sure? Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Alright. Fill him out. Get the Shade Splitter. The Fledgling Imp, because we're just not going to have enough morsels to kind of jam in here, so he's just going to be kind of the helper. Yeah, if we get the, the Trample bonus, I'm going for it. Okay. The jewelers. Okay, life is good. Leave that guy there. Uh, pop him a little bit. All right. Luckily, those bombs don't hit the rest of my setup. All right, yum. Gorge bonus. Absolutely sack one of my dudes if I need to. Honestly, if I can, I don't care. Tons of energy. It, it's it's weird. It's like Perils of Production is a card that I feel like I should be using more of. Okay, that'll make him do a little bit more damage. But yeah, that one guy is going to get passed because no trample, no multi-strike. We're actually in a weird bad spot here. Okay. Do I cannibalize one of the imps? Let's see what Shade Splitter gets me. Yeah, I'm going to cannibalize one of the imps. Gets me a lot.
No, that doesn't help him in the slightest. Okay, yeah, he's just gonna make it to the top. This is... I wouldn't say the messiest. But this is the one issue with this specific build, is multiple units are just going to walk right over me. I could honestly, at this point, I could actually fit more things on this floor. I should consider that. Okay, we've hit our limit. That's fine. We'll just boost one of these guys for reasons. And do a Shade Splitter there. Gets me a... Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of him. I don't need him. Need more Morsel Production with that room size. I'm actually pretty good on Morsel Production. Because I get free Morsels just by existing. Uh, every time I kill an enemy, for the first time each round, I get two Morsels. Which, uh... Yeah, it's free Morsels. Just torch that guy. Okay, we're good. Feed me. So, Curious Gorge here definitely has... He definitely has the, uh... The oomph. Well, there we go. Problem solved. Let's see. Would he be worth it? I guess now that we have trample, I don't think it's that big a big of a deal. If we gave him multi strike, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Well, it is a potential option. I'm going to skip these. Okay. We don't really need energy. Let's go for draw. Because we got plenty of energy along the way. There is an Awoken unit, I just remember, that actually would be a, a good bonus back backliner. If we get lucky. If we don't see him, we don't see him. It's not the end of the world. So, let's go here. And do. I don't necessarily know what I want to do. Grovel might not be a terrible idea. Either Grovel or Cannibalize. No, let's go for Grovel. Because no matter what, Grovel gets me bonus. Get that, which doesn't... I don't think that helps in the slightest. So let's, let's remove the torch. And... Probably one of the torches. I don't... I need maybe one torch tops. And even then, I'm not terribly motivated. So, and now that we... This would have been lovely. This would have been amazing. But I'm just going pure gorge. At this case. In this case. Okay. So, we have the Trample Monstrosity like we needed. We don't quite have the energy that we're looking for, but it should be enough. That could be a mistake. We'll see how this goes. Ooh. I just realized... These are the, gonna be the guys that drain my energy hard. Never mind, not a problem. All right, give me the grovel. Put him down. Cannibalize him immediately. Get that down. Get the fledgling imp down. Gets me some rage. Should be able to kill a lot of them. Hopefully we get our trample fairly quickly. Okay, that looks like that looks like good times. I'm a space prism that for no good reason. Put this down, put this down. 
The enemies are going to hurt a little bit more, but I don't need to care too much. Let's keep jamming the morsels up in here. So we're at what? Four, five, six. So I can get one more guy, jam him inside, and then we hit the limit. I'll put him down. Go for the bonus. Kill that guy. Uh, put him there. And I guess I'm just going to put this guy up here. Leave some bonus damage. We haven't scaled quite fast enough to really kill those guys, but we're getting there. I just really want my bonus damage. Uh, well, I guess we don't get it. Grab the other imp. We're going to do, uh, do apparently enough damage. Okay, put both of those there. Seeing as this guy is going to die, no, it ain't going to matter. Alright, in that case, we're just making beef strong that imp creature. That's all, that's all I really need. Alright, and there's my trample book. So, let's get the Antumbra morsel down. I'm going to cannibalize that guy, just so I can have some extra space. The Morsel Miner down, Morsel Jeweler, Morsel Jeweler. So I've got plenty of energy, so let's just give the correct guy Trample. Everything looks great. Torch that guy. Pop them in front. Bravo. Okay. Give that guy some rage. That way he dies. We're gonna lose some energy here. But nobody touches our pirate shard. Which is really all I needed. Okay, this only gives me a little bit of energy to work with. But that's fine, because I actually have my own energy production that I, that is unaffected. Hell yeah, perils of production. You're a little strong but I understand why you are the way you are. Uh, let's pop the remaining Shade Splitters over here, see what we got. Uh, definitely not as much as I was hoping for. That's okay. Pop these down. Barrels of Production. I guess that didn't really help me, help me in the slightest, does it? Oh well. Alright, found the boss. Didn't have to worry about too much, and we are virtually unstoppable. Keep grabbing that. And yeah, that double grovel setup is actually really lovely. In terms of... Eh. Get that. Uh, let's get the other Shade Splitter down. Not that it makes a dang difference. We are maxed out. Get out of here, Imp. Hello, morsels. There we go. Welcome to snack time, jerks. Bam! There they all go. Didn't have to worry about energy management in the slightest. And we get Refined Void, which I believe is Lifesteal too. Not amazing. I'll take it. So, hmm. I'm gonna grab that. And I'm gonna skip the rest of these. I don't necessarily know if the X damage shield is actually worthwhile, but considering so many of my other cards are kind of free to begin with, it seems like not a terrible idea. Okay, let's go for this. Go for Merchant of Magic. Remove, consume, increase cost. That's great, but that actually doesn't help us too much. I mean, I guess we could have, like, Crazy Pants. Hmm. I don't need the Umbra Stone, and Space Prism is hilariously kind of meaningless. <laughs> I'm gonna try that. <laughs> I 
That's a game holdover. The grovels are maxed out. Hold over a cannibalize? I'll do it. Doing dumb things for the sake of science. I mainly want to see if uh if that uh that damage shield thing if that cannot be consumed because I removed consumption from that. Or if they took that away from me. Let's grab the, the doors as well. Let's see, is this like Slay the Spire, or is that a, does it have a new twist? It's got a lot of different twists. This is very much, like, a close sibling to Slay the Spire, but also completely different. It, not too different from, I guess, like, what my brother and I are kind of like. Uh, sure. Because Slay the Spire, you don't really have summons. You're all really focused on one character. There's a lot more deck management and energy man. Well, this has energy management. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Like, they're both fascinating. And I love both of them dearly. All right. So let's get the train steward down. Let's cannibalize him. Wow. That has got to be one of the worst pulls I have seen in this game so far. Uh, let's see. get the clutch and the imp down. Yeah, I'll do it. If I could actually get the thing that lets me carry over energy, we could actually be in a really interesting spot. Uh, let's see. Pop space prism, just get rid of it. Gravel immediately. Okay. Put him down. Cannibalize him. Oh, he isn't even going to attack. But I can get him to attack. Alright, there we go. So, we will take all of them out. We lose a couple of things that we get to eat, but that's fine. Because I don't need it too much. We do need Trample. There it is. So let's get the Entomb, bro. Let's immediately cannibalize it. I think it's a Harvest. That's a bit of a... That's a bit of a spook. Don't really have much of an immediate solution to that. Give him production bonus. I'll lose a lot of guys here. Uh, no, he doesn't have trample. All right. Well, first off, fledgling imp. Then I'm just gonna put him down there. Umberstone my lead. And oh, X cost minus one. Oh, I got it. Okay. So yeah, top guy is actually going to get a shit ton of armor off of this, and there's not much we can do to it, do to him, unless we get Trapdoor. We did not. Dang. He's kind of a bit of a jerk. Well, I guess I'll give him the train stewards. gonna give him the damage shield. Okay. Cause he, all these guys are gonna die, so it's not so bad. We wanna go just max as much damage as we possibly can. Grab the Shade Splitter. Get the Entombed Morsel. Can I jam one more in, up in here? Cool. And let's rage him up so we do a little bit of damage. But yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, I just, I don't think I'm going to be able to stop him. Ow. Right, I'm going to trap shoot that guy so he's not with the rest of them. Got the Entombra. Immediately cannibalize it. 
Okay, so it's still very much a similar build to last time, but it's got enough of its own identity that I don't feel like I'm just doing the exact same thing again. Though I mostly am. Uh, let's see, how many more of these suckers can I jam in? That's a lot of them. Right, work on healing him up. Barrels of production, no immediate need to do so. Just kill that guy so we get a little bit more HP. Uh, sure. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. So... We don't get another guy that's gonna come up and mess with my day. Which I rather appreciate. Let's grab Shade Splitter, what's it give me? Rubble Morsel. Yeah, I can ca cannibalize that one. Without any fear. Grab all that. We have two perils of production. So what I can do is become untouchable. It's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. Gimme. Yeah. Now, hello, how are you doing? Having a lovely day. So, that's yeah, kind of I really want the card that is uh, X cost, consume X creature, uh, whatever the creature is, X amount of times. Because that card is like the goofiest nonsense, and it was real, real fun to use in the preview. Alright, we got the shields. Unfortunately, this is... Oh, yeah, he just wipes the floor with all of them. That's fine. I oh, didn't actually get through my damage shield. That didn't feel good. Oh, it's fine. Morsels gain damage shield one. That's actually exactly what I was hoping for. Gem Trove would be interesting, but it's very expensive. We don't need another Primal Dust. I'm gonna just skip these, go for the money. Oh, important work is considerably less powerful. March of Shields is better. I'm gonna grab Rage Serum. The other thing would have been kind of good, but still. Okay. So, go for the money, go for the Herzl's Horde, dupe a thing. What would I do? Another grovel? Because if I went this way, we could mess with stuff. What are we looking at next? That's real good. I've got a decent amount of money. Mm. I don't have anything that I'm immediately passionate about. Let's go this way. The relic might have been good. So what is the current wander cheese? Same as the usual cheese. Oh, it's this one again. Uh, I could run an Umbra Consumable card, Awoken Consumable card. Let's go for that, see if I can get quick. Nope, I would sap. I'll take it anyway. See, the only thing I don't get are the different floors in a fight. It's... It's weird to think of, but effectively, you have three rounds of combat before they get to your actual life total. And so, you can delay them, you can mess with them. There's a bunch of different things that you can do, uh, and some of them are actually kind of goofy. I'm going to actually go for that. Make the Rage Serum free. And let's save our money. I I have a... It's hard to describe just because not a whole lot of other games have ever ha had like mechanics like this, but it's a really neat way of like managing... Okay, so on this floor, I'm going to put my big bruisers, but on this floor... I'm going to have, like, a, a spell-focused build. Uh, so, specifically for the Stygian Guard, 
Uh, the main champion for that faction gives enemies spell weakness, but you can't do that in the middle of a fight. It only after the fact. Oof. Gosh, I hate you. I hate all of this. Unfortunately, he's going to get by on this game because we don't do enough damage, which is a bit of an issue. How long do I to do? Move that there. Okay, ideas. Wildwood Sap, yes. Way of Corruption, don't have too much of a choice. Pop Grovel. Pop Shade Splitter. This gets me some gooners. Oh, but I don't have enough space. If I had thorns, I'd be okay. Okay, Shade Splitter gets me this guy. Actually, would have been kind of good gonna need that energy more than I'm gonna need the damage shield. Let's cannibalize him. Need that trample, but I don't need it immediately. Okay, terrible idea down. They're going to do a shit ton of damage to that. And then we get Uber him. Okay. It's not quite perfect. So, I only have one weight of contribution, so that's good, I, I guess. Get him down. Cannibalize him. Gets me a Shade Splitter. I think I'm going to be able to enough. I think uh, I'm not going to be able to get enough. Crap. I should have just put him on the top. Gosh, this went poorly. Okay, let's cannibalize that guy. Hits me a bunch. Put that morsel in the front so he takes all the damage. We lose just a smidge of it. This hurts. Real bad. Yeah, I should have just put my dude on the top and just ate all the weight weights of contribution. It sucks, and I hate weight of contribution, but... I'll deal with it. Alright. Good, we can get rid of these. Life steal block. I'm gonna cannibalize that guy. It'll pay dividends. Get another one. Okay, morsel miner on him. Life steal one. 
Okay. Then back up here. Rage that guy. Okay, so we'll be able to do some amount of damage here. Still freaking sucks. Uh, let's wait for a second. Get this down. Pop a grovel on that guy. Get rid of weight of contribution. Give me some energy. Get this guy down. Cannibalize him. Gets me some more. So we can keep buffing this guy. Making him basically the best. And go back up here and keep making this imp questionably the best. And then I guess I'll finally put this steward down. Okay, so... Could have gone worse, could have gone better. I should have just gone for the maximum space. It probably would have prevented me from taking a whole bunch of damage. Maybe. Okay, get the Shade Splitter down. I'm gonna... Honestly... Carousel production, this guy, cannibalize him. Let's stack those damage shields as high as they go. Alright, and we win. Not the prettiest. We just, we really need to put all those, those morsels on one structure. Alright, dark deal, do five damage. Apply rage seven. That's actually pretty good. And let's keep going for that, that draw size, because we've got plenty of energy generation. Okay, so we want to go over here. Merchant of Trinkets, bound to have something good for me eventually. Uh... Yeah, no, these are kind of a letdown. Let's see what else we got. What can I remove? Honestly, train steward and train steward. I'll just get rid of those. They don't help too much. Let's go back to the Merchant of Trinkets. I don't really care for any of these. I'll get the Commemorative Spike. It's not the most amazing, but it's a start. And yeah, let's just go for the stats. Because I can get Trample as long as I use Trample. And then everything else everything else is okay. Oh, let's see, enemy units enter with armor 20. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to regret that decision, but I'm going to say yes. Let's see, time for time magic. Nah. Alright, do I get lucky? I get lucky. Alright. So we get the Penumbra on top. With the Umber Stone immediately. Shade Splitter. Shade Splitter. Wildwood Sap. Dark Deal for the Rage. Pop him down just so he gets it something. The only problem is we have freaking purifiers. I kind of hate their guts. It is what it is. Burn self-mutilation. Pop grovel. Pop that train steward. Wish I could kill that guy, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. That's fine. So let's get him down. Cannibalize. Him down. Every, everybody else will be fine. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to kill him no matter how hard I push it. Grab these. Grab that. Perils of production. Yeah, no matter what, we're not gonna be able to hit it. Alright, we'll just rage him up. And then go for the damage shields. So that should give me a decent decent chunk of stats. Let's see how much. It's not enough to kill 
kill these guys. Damn. Okay. Burn the two self mutilations. Let's dump that guy down the trap chute. I could have waited, but I don't think I I don't think I need to. Uh oh, right, grovel. Pop a jeweler, cannibalize it. Because, yeah, by the time that guy gets back up to the top, hopefully we will have a hell of a lot more stats to fall back on. So it shouldn't matter too much. They're very chonky, though. Damn, they're chonk. Alright, I'm just going to burn that there, because that honestly does not help me. Let's see, Rage Serum... Nope. Magma Morsel? Magma Morsel. I'm gonna have to sack one of the two. Or I could sack that guy, go for the extra stats. He did his du he did his duty. That's all I needed of him. No. Dang. I didn't get to the top yet. I'm scaling! But without multi-hit, it's tough to scale that much. Shit. All right, whatever. Uh, let's see. I have passive production, so should be fine. Okay. Cannibalize that. This is gonna freaking suck. Grab that. Get the imp down. Okay, we'll take out the front two. There we go. Now we've got it, but that... That was expensive. More so than I wanted. Uh, let's pop the Shade Splitter, see if we get something better. Trying to be slightly picky on the things that I dump into this. But I guess we're fine no matter what. I grab those. Blink that guy. Last run was just considerably stronger than this one. But I guess that's okay. Not every run has to be absurd. I like it when every run is absurd, but it is, it is what it is. Alright, gravel up. More some minor. Give me all them choice boys. That sounded weird. Oh well, I'll live with it. Uh, let's see, I don't have anybody else to jam down, do I? So I've reached the unit limit. Why do I suddenly have so many more? Alright, whatever, these two are just gonna hang. Look, dudes, I believe in you. Shade Splitter, Rage Serum. I'm gonna cannibalize the imp, because at this point we want the we want the most amount of morsels on this floor as possible. So I don't have the uh, I don't have the X cost consumed, but we're definitely in a position where I'm just gaining stupid munch. I'll take stupid munch. Boost him. Uh, boost him. Boost our energy. Boost these guys. Just kind of put them there. They just need to go away. Give me that munch. All right. So I got loads of rage. It's not helping as much as I would have expected out of a run like this, but that's fine. Cannibalize. Jam these little dudes down. Bam. Still pretty strong. If we can get that thing that gives me multi-strike, everything will be okay. 62 damage taken is spooky, though. Ooh, and let's grab a feast. This one, we can... We can swing a feast. Let's see, reminds you of slivers. It's kind of like Slivers. It's it's like Slivers, but it's slightly different. I'm not... I don't know. I love Slivers. Slivers were fun. Uh, let's go for this, just in case. Alright. Let's gain hold over on Feast. 
<laughs> I guess I'm gonna make that Shiver. Grab that. Rage is additional stacks. Hmm. I mean, that health? It just doesn't help that much. All of these are, like, nice? I'm gonna reroll, see if I get something better. Not really, no. In permafrost. Well, permafrost primal dust. I'm gonna just make that cheap. And you give torch consume? I don't think it's really gonna help me. Or hurt me. Okay, Hellvent. What do you got for me? So I have bad ideas. Let's give this a go. I... We can potentially double cannibalize. It's like if slivers were cannibals. Yeah, so instead of buffing each other passively, it was instead just, uh... Just devour. I don't know, but yeah. This should stack really well with feasts, so I can just, like, just... Puke dudes. Okay, bottom floor. I'm pretty cool with that. That dude sucks. Let's get him down. Get the Shade Splitter. Get him down. Oh, what did I burn? Rage Serum. Which does still get consumed. Okay, so they, they changed that. Understandably. Let's just put him down. I'll see what I can do. Okay, Umber Stone for the Trample, immediately. Uh, let's see. Cannibalize this guy. Yeah, we didn't kill anything last round. It's a little bit of a problem. Okay, let's cannibalize him. Gets me some more. Less useful than I was going for. But that's okay. Pop that. And we win. Alright, there's the stats. I just... It might be too late. Yep, 47 HP. Yeah, I think I lose. We would have maybe had a better, better chance if we were up top. But yeah, that's a lot of dudes going up. Just too much health too early on. If I could ascend my... my main guy, this could work. Or if there was just slightly less of them, uh, from the get-go. Yeah, this ain't gonna do me much good. Let's see, would the Alpha Fiend have been a good backup plan? I don't think it would have changed too much. Yeah, no, we ain't get No matter what. I'm just gonna end turn. Yeah, so Alpha Fiend I don't think would have helped much. I think no matter what... Uh... No matter what, that 
that build was just a little too slow and a little too reliant on space. Engine upgrade is real good. I like that one. Teeth of gold, two damage to the rear enemy unit when a morsel unit is eaten. That's amazing! Let's see, is there a reason why you're unwilling to plop a bunch of morsels and then put an imp in the front or back? It wouldn't have changed that much. It might have worked there. Especially if I'd actually gone for the rage stacking uh, relic. That could have worked, but no matter what, there was just going to be too much damage. I, I think if I had been slightly more careful earlier, I could have made it work, but I didn't. It's okay. 